Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your general forecast for February. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Cancer, we're going to take the energies as they come. So, whatever this may be, it could be about love, it could be general, it could be work, career, finance, whatever comes out here. We're just going to take the messages as they come. So, welcome, Cancer. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday season. Happy New Year. I know this is for February. This will be out before February, so we're technically still in January. Um, it is the 19th as I'm recording this, so um, so still Happy New Year to me so or to everybody. So let's take a look here, see what's going on for you, Cancer, at this time. I do say at this time. I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch previous readings your links are below to your general and your love playlist also in the description box you will find uh, decks i'm using social media how to reach out for personal reading if you like to tip or donate or send a gift all that information is below as well as as i will pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section so let's see what's going on with cancer at this time so we have a zodiac oracle here so we could get a sign element or planet see what comes out Please only take what resonates with any reading. If it does not resonate, it's not your reading. So please don't try to make it fit. It could be something going on with someone around you. It could be affecting you. It could be past, present, future um, kind of energy also. And this is for sun, moon, rising, Venus or Jupiter. Depending what comes out, if it has love theme, I would say Venus. If it's more on like work or career, friends, family, I would say uh, Jupiter. So if you have cancer, any of those placements. So let's see what's going on with Cancer. Let's get a sign, element, or a planet. You could have this in your chart. It could, um, I don't know, we'll see what get, what comes out here. Okay. For you, Cancer, at this time. So you have Saturn, which is Capricorn energy. And the Capricorn, uh, Saturn energy, Capricorn does represent the devil in the tarot. So we'll see. But the Saturn energy does represent um, ambitions, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So you could have Capricorn in your chart. You could have a Capricorn around you. It could be just the energy of Saturn that is around you right now. So let's see. I'm not an astrologist, so if you know how that resonates, your Cancer to sign to Saturn, then... Um, Maybe that's a message for you. So let's see. Let's getting. We're gonna get an opening message here, and then I'll get a card for your current energy, and then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. We'll look at your actual situation. We'll look at advice for your situation, possible outcome for your situation, and with this uh, other oracle slash tarot deck, we'll get some closing messages for you at this time. Cancer, cancer, cancer. So. What is the opening message for Cancer at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Feeling that one. Oh, we have Triumphant Success, the Ace of Swords. So this is a good energy. So that is about a brand new beginning. It's a, based on truth, clarity, um, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, open, honest, truthful communication. Could be a big epiphany. Or conversation or communication that has had that brings in some sort of success, triumph. That's a sort of victory. Divinely guided energy. Swords to me, especially the ace, king, and queen, always represent to me divinely guided universal energy. So something here, universe stepping in with their sword for you or helping you uh, to use this sword. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see. Let's get your current energy for, wow, it's too many, for Cancer at this time. Feeling that one. Nine Solitudes. This is a Hermit energy. So Virgo energy here. So you may be going off into Solitude, doing some research, maybe, doing some soul searching, reflecting, contemplating, thinking, finding your inner way, your light. You could be learning something new. Figuring, you know, what path. You see the star in the background. The star is only, always divinely guided energy for me. So you may be enlightened to research or do some solitary work on, okay, what is my next path? What is divinely guided for me? Which direction should I go in that will lead me to the success and triumph? 
And I feel like divine is really going to shed that sword of clarity for you as you're in solitary mode. And that star is shining down on you to lead and guide you in the right direction. So whatever direction you decide, whatever you're learning, you're, you're researching, whatever here, I think will be successful for you if you follow your gut, your intuition, and follow the star energy. Having that faith, hope, optimism, peaceful energy, um, wishes and dreams coming true. So, so you know that... Uh, Saturn energy there um, could be something you're very ambitious about. Maybe you're setting goals for yourself. You know, maybe you're journaling and you're writing down your goals, your ambitions, um, your lessons, your challenges, being very open and you know, truthful with yourself while you're in solitude mode. So why am I shuffling? I don't know. It's just to do the bottom of the deck. So... Wow, so this has been coming out a lot uh, in all the readings. So we have patience here, which is Sagittarius energy. So being patient with yourself. And the temperance angel always brings in a divinely guided energy, whether it's a soulmate, whether it's a path, whether it's something coming into your li life meant to be, a destination or situation that you're moving forward in. It's always a divinely guided energy this temperance angel brings in. And it's also having patience, balance, tempering yourself kind of energy. So having patience with yourself as you're going into solitude and learning and growing and, you know, doing whatever you're doing here to begin this process of a new beginning for yourself. So let's see what's going on for you, Cancer, at this time. And I do want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you. However you support the channel, cannot, cannot do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What is all this energy about for you, Cancer? I feel like you're going, you're divine, you were divinely guided to go into solitude energy. Discovering with clarity the direction you need to go in that will bring you success and being patient, very patient with yourself and tempering your energy and having balance. Kind of like a peaceful, very peaceful, harmonious kind of energy. Um, not getting any negative energy because the Capricorn is, you know, the devil in uh, tarot, but I'm not getting any negative energy. I think you're just very ambitious, goal-orientated. Um, you know, you learn your lessons and challenges moving forward. You're ready to move forward. Something more secure. All right, let's see. How many do we have? Oh, that's way too many. Way too many. Okay. Wow, so we got the Six and Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups can talk about, and that's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cups energy. So Seven of Cups can talk about confusion, and I think that's why... You're needing to go into solitude mode, or you have, to gain mental clarity over confusion, daydreams, options, um, and that sort of energy. But the Six of Cups energy, I mean, maybe some of you return home in this process. Maybe you return to your childhood home to go into a true solitary mode moving forward. Some of you could just be vacation visiting home. Some of you could physically moved back home. Or maybe in this process, you're thinking finally back on your childhood. You know, what were my dreams, and ambitions, and goals as a child? You see the light there. And the Virgo energy always usually has the uh, lamp, the light. But the light is here. So I feel like you could be thinking back, what were my goals, my ambitions, my drive as a child? What did I always want to do? Or you could be, like I said, visiting home, vacationing back home, moving back home. All right, so Page of Swords. So again, that's that research energy. Page is communication, but the Swords energy is all about the mental aspect. So this page can do research, going, going online or learning or doing research and that kind of energy. Some of you, I feel like, maybe moved back home or just vacationing or taking a long break and solitude back home 
as you're doing uh, research or learning something new or really digging down deep. What do I truly, truly want to do with my life moving forward? Feeling a little confused. Eight of Wands. Fiery, passionate energy here. Moving. This is movement travel. Some of you, I feel like, traveled back home. Can be communication, fiery, passionate communication, or travel, taking action. I think some of you <laughs> went back home, traveled back home to go into solitude, to really dig down deep in that Page of Swords energy and really get that mental clarity is with the Ace of Swords. Is what do I truly, truly want to do with my life now? All right, so we do have um, Saturn Capricorn energy, which is 19, which is 10, which is about an ending, and there's always a new beginning. So maybe you just ended a toxic cycle in your life, and now you're starting over, starting new, starting fresh, and you're not quite sure what to do here, but I think you're figuring it out. Yeah, so we have, yeah, the Knight of Cups energy. So being, you know, moving forward and loving, caring, compassion energy, that's your energy. Peace, harmony, balance, love, compassion kind of energy. This could be, you know, it's, it's usually like a love offer coming in or something like that. But then we have the Wheel of Fortune here, bringing in divinely guided energy, things going in a better direction, fate, destiny, better luck and timing. So I think we got an extra card here. So we have the Ace of Wands. So here's a brand new beginning. Fiery, passionate, exciting, entrepreneurship kind of energy, spiritual kind of energy. Um, Ace of Wands. So you're starting, a, so we Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. So you're definitely wanting a new beginning. And you're trying to gain mental clarity on what direction do I need to go in? What direction should I go in? But the wheel is here, so the universe is going to show you. You really need to pay attention with the Knight of Cups energy. Could be the universe trying to show you. Again, with the Eight of Wands, so Page of Swords. So really trying to gain mental clarity on what is my best option uh, for this new beginning. What direction do I need to go in? King of Cups, it's your energy. And this is for male, female watching this. Doesn't matter. King or Queen of Cups. That is definitely your energy here. So this is your actual situation. The Hierophant. So, I mean, the Hierophant can talk about commitment. It can talk about um, marriage, commitment, being committed to something. If it's not a marriage or a commitment, uh, it can be doing what's moral, just, and right. Being committed to this journey. You know, wanting to commit to something that you feel is totally aligned with, that you'd be totally, totally love to do. That is your like, life mission, life purpose being enlightened to that with the Hierophant energy. Justice coming in here. So balance, balance here, truth, clarity, justice being served in your life, in the moon. So not seeing clearly exactly how that's going to happen. That's your energy, Cancer Pisces with the moon. So you're not clear, you're not sure, uh, you don't see the path clearly, but justice is right in the middle of your spread. So justice will come in serving this triumphant success. Stay committed to the journey here. And that peaceful energy of love, compassion, patience. Really doing that introspective journey work on yourself. Learning, you know, journaling, whatever you're doing here. Maybe some of you need to travel back home to really ground your energy. To do this deep do deep down soul searching work as with that page of swords. Getting that mental clarity. Because the universe is bringing in a divinely guided new beginning for you. That's very passionate, creative, entrepreneurship. Just a new beginning of some kind to be very excited about. Let's get one more. Six of swords. So leaving all the BS behind, not serving you, going into a more healing, balanced place. So definitely here. You're not seeing the path clearly with the moon, um, energy. Uh, it could be deep feelings, also listening to your gut, your intuition. But you will be going to a better place. Because you see the back is turned towards the moon. The moon's looking back on the Six of Swords, like, how am I going to get to that Six of Swords? But that Six of Swords is definitely moving on to a better place. And Justice is looking, like, straight at you here, saying, the universe is bringing this in for you. So just keep moving forward in a uh, balanced, caring, loving, nurturing, giving, compassionate place, being committed to the journey here. 
really, you know, digging down deep as you're moving forward and listening to your gut and your intuition. Moving forward. Even though sometimes you feel confused, maybe wh wherever you are now is just not a good environment for you. So some of you may need to either get away on vacation or travel back home or something like that. So let's get advice for your situation. The devil. Yeah, so confirmation here of toxic energies. All right, so, and, and you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like addictions, obsessions, or like it could be just negative energy around you, dragging you down. Because we have the devil right on top of the Hierophant, so, and the King of Cups. So I feel like, I feel like you, you know, you're trying to stay in a very moral, just energy, in a very high vibrational energy, and you may just have very negative people around you that are bringing you down, dragging you down, and maybe you just need to get away from that energy and just get away. Like I said, we'll go back home or just go on vacation. The Emperor, yeah, you need to take lead, take the charge. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. Take control of your situation here. To your happiness, joy, success, victory, healing energy. The sun overcomes all this energy. It's the happiest, most successful, triumphant card in the deck. Happy home and family, success, victory, enlightenment, healing. Everything positive with that card. By you taking lead, taking charge over negative energy around you will lead you to your total happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, everything positive with the sun. But you feel kind of like imbalanced. Like, how do I do that? <laughs> how do I do that? How do I get from this very imbalanced energy to sailing off into a better direction? But spirit wants you to know you need to take control, take lead, take charge of your life. Do what you need to do to get away from toxic energy around you, negative energy, and head towards the sun. Go somewhere sunny, maybe, a warm, maybe some of you, you know, you were raised in a warm climate or something like that, or just vacation somewhere where it's nice and warm so you can, like, heal in the sun. I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe the sun is very healing for you. Maybe you need to go on a cruise or go to the Caribbean or just go to Florida. I don't know, something here. Kind of energy. So let's get some, uh, let's get possible outcome for you, Cancer. We have one more. One more for Cancer. All right, so we got the lovers. So that's about making choices, decisions, making the right choice. It could be about a soulmate here, but I'm not getting that. But this is about making a choice that's totally aligned with you. And the Three of Cups, so celebrating, rejoicing. And the Ace of Cups, so brand new beginning here, divinely guided. Could be love for you, or just a very spiritual energy, awakening, fulfillment. So by you making the right choice, you will have your divinely guided Ace of Cups here, something that's totally aligned for you, that will totally be in love with doing, moving forward, a brand new beginning. And it'll be a uh, time of celebrating, rejoicing, maybe reuniting with old friends and family. And, uh, and that lovers doesn't necessarily, well, it usually is about a soulmate. You could be re reuniting with a soulmate from the past. But I feel like, you know, you could just be reuniting with old friends and family. Um, and making choices that are for your best interest. <clears throat> that will lead you to this divinely guided new beginning of self-fulfillment in every single way and self-love and celebrating with your friends and family. So let's see what's on the bottom. So we have the page of pentacles. So this could be an offer coming in, a very stable, secure, grounded offer or uh, communication of some kind. Queen of swords. So again, there's the divine energy, mental clarity, uh, Open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, not taking any BS, making that final decision with the judgment card here, uh, making that final decision and judgment call. Good news coming in or sending out good news here. And now king or queen of pentacles, doesn't matter. Being fully abundant, secure, stable, grounded, smart, um, analytical, wise here and working together working with people learning something new mastering the craft and six of wands having that success and victory year accomplishment 
to your total happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way. So for the other energy here, we do have, uh, let's see, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Leo, Sag, Aries, Scorpio, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Sagittarius over here, Capricorn. Over here we have um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Libra. Uh, what's this here? Cancer, Pisces. Uh, let's see, a Leo. Uh, the Emperor is Aries, Capricorn, Gemini. So those are other signs I see. So let's get some closing messages for you, Cancer. So I do ask Cancer if you're new to my channel and you like my energy, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Or you can check out my channel if you like what you see and you subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out on any future readings. So let's see what the closing messages are for you at this time, Cancer. So what are the closing messages for you, Cancer? Cancer. Life experience, 16. Here we have cuckoo. Important change. Important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new directions. You never you you know you know are right for you. Don't forget to don't hesitate to move in new directions you know are right for you. So this is the tower, I believe. So this could be an epiphany, a aha moment, um, a big realization. It could be a breakdown, shakedown, a surprise. So definitely here's towers. Something could be crumbling down or you could just get a big epiphany, transformational energy with the butterflies, uh, new life experience. So I feel like you're going through a new life experience here. A big change, a big transition, big transformation. But I do see success and fulfillment in every single way. So let's get um, let's get another energy for you. So we got <laughs> two Ace of Cups here. Two Ace of Cups. Wow. So, I mean, some of you, this could be a new beginning in love by moving back home, reuniting with a soulmate. But I do feel like for some of you, you're just making a big transition in life. Figuring out, you know, and I've been getting this a lot in a lot of the readings. It almost seems like the same message over and over of um, people like needing to make a big change in their life, a new transition, transformation, and uh, like really coming into their own power and doing what they've always wanted to do. But here we have the Ace of Summer, Dove. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. So Ace of Cups again. So divinely guided spiritual energy it could be new love. It could be re resurrecting an old love. It could be a new path for you that you're totally aligned and in love and having that self-worth and love for yourself. So however it resonates for you, let's get another, oh, I'm feeling this one right here. The moon. So we got the moon again. We have that twice. Links. It's important to trust your intuition. Even if you're unsure of what's happening, all will be revealed soon. So worry is unnecessary. And transformation again with the butterfly. So again, you know, maybe not seeing the path clearly. Like how are you going to get to your ace of cups, your ace of swords, your six of swords into a better place. A balance, justice, being staying committed to the journey. So, but... Things will transition and transform. Yeah, the emperor. So we have the emperor right here. So double confirmation of that. Aries, dare mouse, structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. So again, the emperor, empress doesn't matter. Taking the lead, taking control, taking charge. You know, you could be leveling up, being an entrepreneur, being, you know, a manager, a boss, CEO, something like that. Promotion, uh, just a whole new change in life and taking charge of your life. However, this resonates for you. Okay, Cancer, so best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.